Hello, I'm Denise. Running away from from home, and my son Joshua may not be the only hell I ever raised, because I have quite the wild past. But he is by far the most challenging hell I ever raised. Oh, Joshua. I love you more than my heart can bear. That's all I could say. More than my heart can bear. I want you to know that the circumstances surrounding your freedom you can attribute to me. And I won't say anything more than that. The ultimate decision was your father's. <laughs> the man may be the head of the house, but the woman is the neck. That's all I can say. And you, having had what appears now to be three serious relationships, know that. A good woman behind you, the neck of you, can make, a, make you. A bad woman will break you. Um, what else? I'm so sick and tired of talking about these pains that I don't know what they are and I don't, and we're not going to be looking into them because what sense would that make? <laughs> None. I'm already on hospice. But Last week was bad, bad, bad for using morphine. I used a lot of morphine last week. This week, so far, of course, it's only Wednesday, but it has not been as bad. I did take morphine today, and it did. And that was this morning. Excuse me. And it did take the pain down to a three, which is enough that it's a distant pain. It's a muted pain. Oh, thank you. It only sharpens when I cough. So what am I doing? Down here in the basement smoking and making myself cough. I don't know. <laughs> I, the, the, the more I live, the longer I live, every day I live, I learn more and more that I don't know. There are so many things that I just don't know. And Google does not help with. Google it, Dad. All I know is that I will never be able to find a place that I can afford to live by myself. Unless it's a travel trailer for like $1,500. And Bruce would let me park on this land. And I don't believe that the township would allow that to happen anyway. I wonder if they're going to allow Cameron to have his RV that he and Matilda are going to live in on Jason's land. Hmm. That's interesting. <laughs> and if I got one, we'd be the family of gypsies, able to move at a moment's notice, as long as the truck is available. Oh. I feel anxious because Bruce is just outside weed whipping. He'll come in any moment. So this isn't going to be very long, but I just wanted to document Joshua. I don't know what's going on with you. I don't know. You have a fluid relationship with the truth. I prefer mine to be more solid. I prefer a solid relationship with the truth, although I will not lie, I have been known to play fluid with it. Um, but if I'm going to play fluid with it now in these days, in this time of my life, it's going to be completely thought out and that power used only for good. I'm not going to use it to protect myself from anything that I think um, of consequence that would come. 
just face the consequence and get it over with them behind you. Wash it in the blood of Jesus and move on and don't do it again. That's all I can say. Um, I just have to say that if you're a real Christian, the love of God and the love of Jesus is so overwhelming. I cannot thank God or Jesus enough for redeeming me and allowing me to live with the knowledge that my soul is saved, that there isn't any burning fiery pit of hell waiting for me. And that tends to upset people. People who are atheists, to whom I say, God gave you the free will to believe as you believe. And you don't believe in God, that's fine. That's fine with him. He, that's what free will is for. But just because you don't believe in him, doesn't mean he doesn't believe in you. That was, there was something like that in a Stephen King novel, The Stand. People whose religions are different than Christianity. There is always a sacrifice. There is always someone who has sacrificed themselves to come between you and God. Because the wrath of God is a horrible thing. Just read the Old Testament. <laughs> we have a new covenant with Jesus. And his greatest commandment is to love. I love you, Joshua, more than my heart can bear. I don't believe. I don't believe this latest new development that's come along. I don't believe the story behind it. That you would have to have had my childhood to understand how I can recognize that crap in an instant. Most of us who've had that kind of childhood can recognize it in an instant. We're ever alert for it. Anyway, I feel Bruce is coming soon, so I have to go. Have a wonderful day, night, whatever. Do not like, do not subscribe, do not share this video. It is for entertainment purposes only and to document my path because I just have to. I just have to. Ever since I could, I learned to write, I've been documenting, just screaming into a void. That's all.